Hello, Avery Betty, and welcome back to Building Tutorials. And today, I am going to be working on building my ray tracing testing room once again. Last episode, I worked on building this light room here, which kind of tests the, uh, the different kind of light sources on the blocks. I've also got a special door area over here that tests the amount of light that comes in through the doors and trap doors. Now, there is one more thing that I would like to add on to here, which is the, uh, the light room, where we can test light passing through certain blocks, like uh, leaves. So certain blocks in here have like a transparency to them, like the leaf blocks in here would be a good one to test. I don't know if coral would really work, but mangrove roots... This one kind of has like holes on it. I don't know if it'll actually let light through, but those are some of the things that I wanted to test, but I need a special room uh, built for that. So I'm going to extend this hallway out. So if I break, I think it's this block. Yeah, it's this block right here. So if I were to extend this out all the way to the fence, we just have to get this guy out of the way because we don't want to lock him in here. Uh, but if I can build a, a small little room here, I'm going to put like a bunch of... What was that? Something's exploding. What is going on? There, there's stuff exploding inside of the museum. And I think there's a bil villager in there who's taken damage or something. I don't know what's going on in there. Uh, but hopefully they're okay. Uh, this is kind of ruining the wall that we've got here, but that's fine. We gotta build this somewhere to be able to test the light. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm gonna build a completely solid room uh, with no lights in it. The only light is going to be from the sun, which at the moment, there's no sun. Oh, the clouds in the way. See, this is... This is what uh, the ray tracing adds in. It adds in all kinds of, like, lighting effects. Like, this whole area here is just all dark. Uh, we gotta wait for the clouds to get out of here. And then, hopefully, we'll be able to do some testing with this. So, let's go ahead and block this up. And now, let's start putting in some blocks. Oh, the mangrove roots actually do work. I didn't know if these would work because they were, like, really new. But I've guessed they have it updated to where that works. So let's try iron bars. I guess I could put like iron bars in like that. It kind of works. I, I kind of want to put it like in the side here. That actually looks really cool. Having the iron bars like that is like a window. So that I guess kind of works. Uh, the main thing I wanted this for was testing the leaves. So I'm going to grab all the different types of leaves here and we're going to put these down and we're going to see if light will actually pass through them. I think it will. So let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to put one over here. It kind of gives it like a green glow a little bit. I might have to build like a, a forest like testing area. Today I'm going to be working on building uh, like a cave area, but a forest might be cool. So let's put, uh, which one are these? Oh, no, I got rid of my, uh, spruce ones. I thought I already put the spruce down, but I guess not. I did the, uh, the birch ones. So there's spruce. We've got jungle. We got oak. Uh, it's gonna go over here. And then I'm gonna give it, like, a one block space. And then do the next set of leaves over here. Okay, so I've put all the leaf blocks down. And as you can see, light is going through all of them. And you can see it from here. These are all the different leaf blocks. We've even got the uh, azalea leaves in here as well. So let's see what other blocks in here I can test uh, that would be good to see if light goes through them. I've done the leaf blocks. I was thinking about doing like coral. I don't know if we can really test grass. Uh, I don't know if that's really going to work. I guess if we go outside... Oh, well, that's not going to work because that's a, a wall there. But if I go out here and put some grass down, that really doesn't work either. It's not really a good way of casting a shadow. So we're not going to deal with grass. 
uh, that's not really going to work too well. But, like, a mob spawner might be cool to see if that works. Okay, so I've got a few more blocks here. I've got a mob spawner that I would like to test. And that does work. Uh, it's also cool how this glows. That makes this look really cool. I've also got cobwebs. So, we will go and put that down. It actually lets a lot of light in. Uh, I might get rid of that one. So, cobwebs isn't really going to work. I also wanted to try the honey and slime blocks to see if this lets light through. And it does. It actually looks really cool. Look at that. I kind of want to put these, like, in the middle of the room, like, here. So, let's go ahead and get rid of the ones on the side. And there is the honey and slime blocks. It does let light through, which is really cool. So, this is the, uh, the block... Uh, like transparency room uh, So I think that's most of the blocks that I could probably test I could go through and do like all the fences and walls, but I'm pretty sure those are all going to work I'm just looking for the uh, the cool ones like the uh, the leaves look really cool So uh, that's gonna be it for this room. Let's move on to the cave room I also want to put a door to this uh, so I'm gonna put a door right here so that way that's blocked off So let's go over to the next room now for the cave room I could either connect it to this and like extend this hallway out or I can build like a whole separate building, but I think it's gonna be a, a good idea to add uh, like a hallway that goes into the cave room now for the cave room I'm going to build this out of a few different types of blocks. It's mainly going to be built out of stone, uh, but I'm going to use cobblestone, uh, regular stone, which is right here. And I'm also going to use the, uh, the new deep slate as well, uh, because we've got a uh, deep slate that spawns in, uh, in the uh, lower levels. And then we're going to get all the different ores, but I'm going to go through and build that afterwards. I want to start with building uh, the actual uh, room itself. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to build kind of like a, a big stone like dome is the idea for this. So I'm going to just kind of build this uh, out like this. And we're going to have kind of like two sections of this. Alright, so I've built the uh, the first cave room here. So the way I'm going to build this is I'm going to build it up two blocks like this. And then I'm going to start uh, bringing the blocks in. And this is going to be acting like a big like open cave room. So I'm going to bring all these blocks just in one block uh, each uh, time I go up now. So it's going to start out like this, and then the next set of blocks is going to go around uh, like this until we make it all the way to the top, until this is fully closed in with stone. And then I'm going to build a uh, another uh, dome that's going to go off of like right here. This is going to have another dome that's going to be made out of the, uh, the deep slight bit. So we're going to have the stone one, which is going to be here, and then we're going to have the deep slate one that's going to be over there. So that's how we're going to test both the deep slate and the, uh, the stone uh, layers. Okay, so I've just finished building both of the uh, stone rooms. We now have a nice area to make a cave. We got the deep slate version and we have the stone version. Uh, so we're going to have two different rooms. Now I've got a night vision potion on. I'm going to get rid of it because it makes ray tracing look really weird when you have uh, the uh, night vision on. Uh, let's just say you don't want to go outside with uh, night vision on. So I'm going to go out and drink some milk and get it back to normal. So we can't really use the, uh, the night vision while we're messing around with like lighting effects. And I wanted to have, like, bits of sunlight that come through, like, the top bit here. So I wanted to break, like, some bits of the, uh, the stone to let a little bit of light in. So if I go in here, break uh, a few of these blocks, let some uh, light into the cave. 
So there's that. We got some light coming in. I might replace that with uh, glass. I can get just some regular glass to put in. But now that I've got some light in here, I do want to get all of the different types of ores. So I'm going to get both the stone and the, uh, the deep slate version of all of the ores. So I'm going to grab all these. I also want to grab uh, some torches. So if I go over here, I can just grab uh, one of these torches uh, to use in the, uh, the cave area. So I'm going to put like one torch on each side. Uh, over here, I'll put like two torches and I'll do two torches over here just so we have a little bit of light. Especially in the deep slight area. It's a lot darker here. Alright, so now we've got this place pretty lit up. We do have creepers and stuff that do spawn in here. Which is kind of a problem. I also might put some of the stone back. It is cool having some of the light come in. But I think it might be ruining it a little bit. Having the, uh, the light coming in. So let's see if I were to just like get rid of that bit there. We'll see if that works. So now what I want to do is I want to put some uh, ore. So I'm going to do just like bits of ore throughout the uh, the cave here. So I'll put like some redstone over here. I'll do some lapis. I'll get uh, diamonds, gold. I'll put some iron in right there. And I don't think I've done copper yet. So I'll put copper, we'll do uh, a little bit more coal, redstone, uh, let's see, we'll do lapis, diamonds over here, actually, we'll get rid of those diamonds. I think that looks pretty good, I've got ores in all of the different sections here, I think that's a, a pretty good uh, use of the, uh, the different ores. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but over in the deep slight layer. So if I go down here and grab the deep slight version of all of the ores, we can go put those down. So let's go ahead and head over into this room. And I'm just going to fix this, uh, these holes here and just keep the, uh, the hole in the uh, ceiling like that. I don't even know if we need the hole in the ceiling. It seems to be fine just with the, uh, the torches, but I'm going to put it there. Uh, and I'm just going to go through and put all of the, uh, the different types of ores in again. Okay, so I've put all the ores in. I think this is looking really nice. Uh, I've got the, uh, the hole in the top, which I do want to put some glass in there. And I can even use like colored glass as well. But I'm just going to use normal clear glass to put in the, uh, the top. And now we've got a nice little area to test out the uh, the different ores. Uh, the other thing I do want to put in is water and lava. So if I go in here and grab a uh, water and lava bucket, we can go and put those down. I could also get glow squids would be uh, cool to spawn in as well, along with like the uh, the glow berries. Because we've got those now. So I'm interested to see what that looks like. If we were to get like a lush cave. So I'm going to grab some of this stuff here. Okay, so I've got some lava now. And some water that I can use. And I'm going to put it over in this section here. So I'm going to get rid of this dirt. And I'm going to put some crying obsidian down. Oh, great. The creeper fell in the hole. Can you like get out? Get out of my hole. You're ruining everything. So this is going to be the uh, lava and water area. And we'll see a mix. Oh, great. Okay, this is going horribly wrong. Stop. Okay, we're going to have the lava go first. Because it's like incredibly slow. And then we'll put the water in. So let's put the, uh, the lava in first. Let it kind of flow where it wants to. And now we'll put the water in to mix. There we go. So that's what we want it to look like right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put uh, this right there in the middle. That adds a lot of light into here. Uh, we might just get rid of this entirely. 
Uh, let's just go ahead and block that up. There's enough light in here to where we don't need the sunlight coming in. That lava is incredibly bright. Oh, well, it gets rid of the creeper problem as well. They just burn in the lava. Uh, the next thing I want to do is put glow squids in. I don't know how I'm going to do that because this is a very small amount of water. And it doesn't look like they even glow either. It, it looks like they, they're just normal squids. Uh, but I do want to put some glow berries down. So I'm going to do some of that. Put a, a few vines in here around the area. And then uh, I will add like a, a moss section over here. And then we'll add like some of the, uh, the drip leaves in. So I'll put drip leaves like that. So there we go. We got some drip leaves here. We got glow berries. I don't know if we can get the glow berries to actually form on there. I think they'll just grow by themselves. But I'm going to put a few more in here. We'll see if that changes. Let's go over into this bit. I'm going to go ahead and fix this. Oh, wait. I got to put the uh, deep slide in. And I'm going to do the same thing over here where I build the obsidian bit here. Okay. So there is the lava and water bit. I could also put some of the glow berries in and some vines. I don't think the uh, the lush caves will spawn in deep slate layers. I think they spawn usually higher up. But I'll put some uh, glow berries in and we'll give them their own glow squid as well. It doesn't really do much. Oh, what was that? Oh, was that the creeper? I think I walked into the creeper. Oh, yeah, I did. That was weird. Uh, but we've got the uh, the cave area. I think this looks a lot nicer because the ores glow more because it's darker in here. Over here, it seems very bright and it's kind of hard to see the uh, the ores glowing. But over here, it's definitely a lot better. Uh, we've also got coal. This is uh, deep slate coal, which is actually pretty rare to find in normal Minecraft. Because coal spawns so high. Uh, but over here we've got our coal ore. Uh, and then we've got all of the other ones as well. I don't know if mobs will continue to spawn in here. Those guys were kind of here before all the light went in. So maybe they'll uh, disappear. Uh, but I do want to put two torches right here at the entrance. Because it's a little dark there. But I think this looks really nice. So for a comparison here, I'm going to go ahead and turn the ray tracing off so you can see what this looks like with the ray tracing on and off. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the uh, the ray tracing off. It's uh, pretty plain in here. Uh, we've got the, uh, the two creepers that are just kind of messing around here. Over here, we've got the deep slight bit and it's a lot brighter in here. Uh, the, I, the difference between the lighting in uh, the ray tracing and normal Minecraft is like a lot different because it's really lit up in these rooms. When you have the ray tracing on, it makes it feel a lot darker. Uh, and then we can also go down into our new room we've got over here, which is completely lit. There's like no change in here. But that's going to be pretty much it for today. I've created... A, uh, a cave bit, which is right over here, uh, that tests the uh, the different uh, ores and what it would look like if you were in a cave. I think it looks really nice uh, with the uh, the ray tracing on. With it off, it's pretty plain. Looks like my glow squid died. Uh, we could get like some oxalotls to possibly go in here, but I don't know if that's really gonna work. I was hoping the glow squids would actually glow, but it doesn't look like they actually change uh, with the ray tracing. But that's going to be pretty much it for today's episode. So I'm going to go and end the episode here, so make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.